Khaled Noah joins me now. He's the CEO of Taka here in Saudi Arabia. Thank you so much for taking the time to. When you start your new year, obviously it's probably a great time to be looking, taking stock, looking back on the years that have gone by, probably on the decade that have gone by, because really now you're preparing for the next 10 years. What's on your mind as you go into 2020? Actually, uh, the industry, the whole oil and gas industry uh, in the whole world is under a lot of pressure and a lot of challenges. We try as an oil field service and equipment company to compete in an environment that has a lot of international uh, companies coming on board and they're coming very aggressive because this is the market that shows uh, resilience and stability in the past. I think the biggest challenge we will have uh, today as Taqa in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia uh, as a Saudi local company that's uh, ambitious to operate outside of Saudi Arabia is to compete with the internationals that are coming in with pricing pressures and trying to dominate the market. Obviously our size is much smaller than theirs but uh, we try to create differentiation uh, through uh, uh, ambitious plans on uh, innovations and doing things different and enhancing our commercial acumen as a service provider to our customers in Saudi and in the rest of the region. And of course, I mean, small is good. There's, there's nothing wrong with being smaller than some of the, the bigger players because you're probably more agile, you're more nimble. You can actually take decisions faster and really get the job done. Talk to me about the importance of technology in terms of where, you know, how it has changed over the years and how it's impacted your business. Technology is important every time we talk about oil field services and the whole, the whole oil and gas industry. However, there is a new uh, way of looking at technology and developing technologies now, which is innovations. I think innovations has a much more bigger way and a bigger future in the, in, in the next uh, decade and the next years for the oil and gas industry. What's the difference between innovation and technology? Technology follows a specific spectrum of uh, from the concept into engineering, research, engineering and so on, while innovation starts usually with the problem and then design thinking going backwards into finding the problem. So it's much faster to solve the problem in the market and that's what we're trying to do. So today in the International Technology Petroleum uh, Conference in uh, Dahran, we're launching the Taqa Innovation Center, which is the first uh, innovation center that's uh, launched in Saudi Arabia by an oil field service company that's focused more into innovation and engineering solutions rather than uh, typical research and the long cycle research and development. So I think the future is going to move into more innovations, more smart ideas, more agility in the way we deliver our products and services uh, than the typical R&D, long R&D cycle that's now, by the time it's out, it's obsolete. Well, congratulations to you. That's great news to hear that. And we'll make sure that we have a look and see what's going on there. Tell me um, how important it is to be in Saudi Arabia. This is the first time IPTC is here. There's thousands of people here coming from all around the world. How important is it, and particularly for a homegrown company like yourself, that you're here and that you're very visible and that IPTC is here for the rest of the world? Uh, the International Petroleum Technology Conference started back in 2007. I was part of the executive committee back then. Uh, and uh, I've always, f it's, it's an international petroleum technology conference. It has a very strong international footprint where you get uh, people coming in from all over the world, not only service companies, but technology companies and oil, uh, oil uh, um, uh, producers as well as ENP companies. Uh, having the IPTC in Saudi is definitely a big step, and I truly believe it's not going to leave. So as it was announced today by Mr. Mohammed Al Ghattani in 2022, it's coming back to Saudi. I think it's coming back to Saudi in 2024 and 2026. And I will be really looking forward to see Taqa becoming even a much bigger player than what it is today. Today we've launched our innovation center. In the next cycles, we are going to be much more active and much more involved by showing our commitment to the, to the government, by uh, have, announcing our spark facilities, showing more, more alignment to Saudi Aramco and to the growth. So having IPTC here, in Saudi Arabia is definitely a, 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 a milestone and it's starting in 2020 so it just tells that the next 10 years is going to be great for this industry, going to be great for Saudi Arabia and it fulfills the ambitious plans of uh, Vision 2030. So having the International Petroleum Technology Conference coming where it actually ought to have started at is a big success and we're very very proud of.